around just so, just for the video purposes, Franny and Mark are not here, so if they do draw the scales, it's genuine, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, you've got Tony doing the shouting out. Just put them on there, Tom. Nigel, 25. Who wants next to him? 18. Simon. Simon, 18. Give me an extra one. Yeah. Yeah. Come on then. Who's next? Two. Kevin. Kev, two. Draw me out, draw me out. Saws. Scales. Four. Four. Look at his face when he's like got scales. Tony, draw me. Graham. Thirteen. Pick thirteen. Where's the one? Mr. Incredible! 33! 30, oh, oh nice! That's good. That's good. Is this is side. John Whitehead! John Whitehead! John Whitehead! Six! Six! Barry! <laughs> Barry! Ten! Bob! 28! Where's that? Magic man! 16! 16! Oh! Only two in. I had 12. 12? 24. That's it, Annex. Didn't it? I've got Annex. Yeah. It's alright there, Tony and Annex. Yeah. 24. 24. Number time. Good morning fish people, I'm Alan Norris from Fish on TV and today you will be joining me at Woodhouse Grange and we are fishing the Kennel Pond and I've just literally drawn peg 12, I'm not over thrilled with that to be honest with you it is fishing well, we will catch some fish but I've pegged it out this morning and there's certain areas where I know the winners are more than likely to come from and I've not seen many fish where I where I've drawn but there are certain pegs I'm just thinking oh my god it's heaving there's been some good weights coming out of here 260 odd pounds won it uh, just over a week ago sos fish that same match I think no I think it was 280 pounds and he had 187 pounds and came seventh so there's some big weights been coming out um, different day today slightly it is more overcast but i'm sure there'll still be a fair few fish caught peg 12. i've actually won a match off it there but i've not seen i've not seen too much nobody's really shouted about it i, I don't know when you when i walk around it, it wasn't an area that stood out put it, put it that way um there are, there's probably about half a dozen pegs on there where i thought oh my god somebody's gonna have a good day um I think it could be shallow. I'm certainly going to set three shallow rigs up. I'm going to have a debt rig and a margin rig. I always set a method feeder rod up when I'm fishing for F1s because if it is one of those very funny days, the little method just a flick in front here, same at Lindome, has really got me out of it. You know, I've, I think I think it was peg 12 where it really worked last time, a couple of years ago. I had about 160 odd pound out of there. Um, so there's potential, we shall see. I'm thinking of fishing caster shallow today. I've got four mils, some six mils micros, ground bait and casters and corn for the margins if I think it's necessary to go in the margins. Um, F1 rigs, obviously. F1 rigs for the deck, F F1 shallow rigs. So I need to get ready. Um, a couple of others have turned up late, which has made me a little bit late. So I'm going to get down onto the bank. We'll get his gear set up. And we'll see how the match goes. I think there could be, and I've got scales again. I mean, I know it's my club, but I'm drawing scales with all the big matches. Nearly every one I fish on. I've, I've had last four, I think. In fact, no, I didn't get any at Southfield. Oh, by the way, I did catch a few fish at Southfield. Not very many, but at least I got a few fish. Um, <laughs> drawing scales all the time. It's, un it's unreal. 
Right, let's right. get out there. Peg 12, we just shot a time literally one minute ago. Uh, I'm just about ready, I've just noticed I've not set my, in case I need the, uh, <laughs> uh, my idle back up or me, uh, to put my rod on if I want to go on the method feeder, but uh, I'll just show you bait before we have a look. Right, ground bait and pellets, these are mainly for margins unless method feeder comes in short. Pellets, I'm going to fish castor shallow, corn for the margins, dead reds for uh, on the method feeder, spare hooks. I sound like I'm rushing, I sound like I'm rushing out because I, I didn't realise I've not set the idle back up for my rod. Sozzer's into one, I'll just let, I'll let you have a look. Sozzer's over there, he's happy with that, he says it's black over with fish, we've got Charles and Barry, Kev the pace man over there. We've got Franny in a, in a good peg, let's have a look over there, it's black over in that corner. Mr. Incredible under the tree. We've got my mate Jeff here, Maggot Man on the bridge, Bob's in a corner peg on the other, on the spit, and we've got Graham Scott behind the tree. Right, my plan of attack, top two and a half it is actually, just in front of me, nice depth about three and a bit foot, three and a half foot. I'm gonna fish cast a, I can fish on the bottom there or cast a shallow. Um, I've looked at this margin, I actually prefer this margin um, one of the reasons is Graham's plumbed up round here so I don't want all that bait sharing it I thought I ain't going to share that I've got a spare peg to my left it's nice and flat down here and that's going to be my margin rig dead simple as that uh, as you can see I've got three three different shallow rigs up different depths I've got a mugging rig a deck rig and a margin rig and my method feeder yeah I am rushing because I need to get fishing because I am um, a lot of weight were caught last time. I've just seen. I've pulled two out, so it's two in front of me already. I've just put this uh, my rod rest. I couldn't think of that word. To start with a rod rest. Just a bit of muck on there. Um, put my rod rest on, and then I'm away fishing. And we'll. Uh, I'll see you in an hour. Remember, I know Eddie texts Mickey, but the wireless go batteries only last for the last six hours. But be a shame to just miss the last hour or so, as it as it gets usually the the best part of the uh, of the day. Right. Two and a half minutes talking to you, I need to get fishing. Right then folks, we're just, o just over an hour in and uh, I've had about 20 odd fish. A lot of small, a lot of small ones, one or two slightly better ones. Just doesn't seem, I mean, uh, just doesn't seem to be quite on fire. There's fish there, there you go. Oh, you're not supposed to do that. You're supposed to put it in bite with your net. I forgot we're showing you it in the camera. So I do apologise. Um, cast a shallow. Graham's struggling at the side of me. Barry's struggling a little bit at the side of me as well. And I've been changing the rigs. Let me get this on. Tricky little luggers to get on. I've been changing the rigs. I'm slow sinking. I've got a bolt shot on now, I've got a float on that's slightly overshotted. I'm not sure about the feeding, I keep changing from chucking plenty into missing a little bit and sometimes when I don't feed and I slap it, if I go one, two, three, I'll get a bite because there's, there's no other bait there apart from mine. Passing through water like oh, just like that. So uh, it's trying to work out the best way of feeding at the minute, and I'm not so sure whether piling loads and loads in is the way forward to shed. It's all right to get bring them in. I'll just give it a couple of goes. There's quite a few guys fishing on bottom and getting one or two as well. Mr. Incredible over there. There are a lot of fish over there. Oh, Mr. Bite there. There are a lot of fish over there this morning. Especially where Franny is as well. He's not catching as many as I thought he might do. They were black over over there this morning when I pegged it out. But there's also a lot of tiny, sort of like three inch long 
at F1s. So I've spent sort of the first 45 minutes feeding sort of two lots like that. Sometimes I'll come short of where I've fed, sometimes I'll go a bit further than where I've fed, sometimes I'll go right in the middle of where I've fed. And it's it's strange, I can't work out how deep they are either. And at the minute I've got the like 10 inch rig on. I've got a 10 inch, a 12 inch, and there we go. Uh, this is one of the little ones. And I've got one about 15 inch. Another thing you've got to do, which is a bit of a pain, I mean these are tiddlers, you've got to land every fish. As you can see, look at that. It's, it's not even as big as my hand. And you've got to put them in like this at Woodhouse Grange. I think I've mentioned it a few times before. So I'll feed quite a bit before I go out and then I'll probably have a few slaps without this. There is fish about, but they don't seem to be having it. It's, um, oh, I'll put a pound off of my clicker. I've got about 22 pound oh, at the minute. Mr. Incredible's having a right day, he's catching, I've noticed the fish that he's catching hell a lot bigger than the ones I'm getting. He's got to be up to 40 pound I reckon. I had one or two, sort of two pounders, but he seems to be getting them every, every put in. And I decided on caster shallow today. Caster shallow can work, four mil pellet can work really well. I'm guessing because the last time he fished here he caught well on four mil pellet, as did I, but I wanted to practice me cast a shallow today. So I know you're probably thinking get some fed, but it's not been working that. I've been getting plenty of swirls, but nothing, uh, nothing taking, so what I've found is I seem to be hooking into a few more fish by leaving it a little bit. And then doing a little bit of slapping. And if I've had nothing, I'll feed a few, not to, not as many as I would on that like initial feed. It's trying to work out how they want feeding and presenting. See again another tiddler. See, I've not had these before in it. I have had one or two of these, but I'm getting a lot of these. BF ones. So I can't really put any weight on there, I'll put a bit more bait out there now. And I'll go out and have a few more little slaps. I think I'm due to change the presentation. And when they're really having it. It's literally in and you don't have to strike or anything. There's one or two I'm having to strike at. The tiny little taps. Um, the proper ones like that, I missed that one. The proper ones, it just pulls elastic straight out. I've noticed one or two people, shallow fishing, have got a long lash on and I've, I find with F1s you need it as short as possible. Again, I think these are the tiddly ones. That's a bit better. I was deciding to go a bit now. Oh. Damn it, nobody likes to see that. Nobody. Apparently, Andy May lost a fish at uh, in Fisher Mania and they'll give him that one. Nobody likes to see that, Andy. I can't say it's my scene, but it's been going about a few years as that. But we do use it a lot on, in our club. <laughs> Soz has been round. Can't say, come over to be polite and say hello. This is always horrible, isn't it? But 
He's, uh, <laughs> he's been around. I said, what are you fishing today? He went, pole. You gotta know you're fishing pole, Soz. Nice one. Don't give anything away, does he? He's getting one or two. Keb the pace, man. He's getting quite a few little ones. There we go, another one. And he, uh, he says, never mind four keep nets. He says, I need a jam jar for the size of fish I'm catching. <laughs> Good old Kev the pace, man. Get away from them nets. I looked at the it, it was just wrapped round its fin. but still we could do with those slightly bigger ones <laughs> so as you can see that's what I'm doing I'll we'll see if we get one, one or two more so I don't mind feeding quite a bit like that before I go out I put a pound on my clicker let them uh, gobble those up and hopefully when I slap mine in now Oh no, we don't like that, we don't like that. That's what's happened there. A bit too high. There we go. Just a couple of inches below. Let me pull the bung knees pulling up a little bit. There we go. That seems to have stretched a bit today. Might have to bite that off in a minute. Hopefully that short hook, when you get a bite, it just pulls the elastic out, that's what we're after. Now there's fish there, I've just seen a slight swirl. I have got some, I've got an 18 on with 013. I have got some 20s with 011, I might actually scale down to that, whether that's the answer. But I've not had a problem when I've been 013, whether having it, it's, it doesn't really matter what size hook or line you've got on, they just take it. I don't think they're really having it that much today. I mean, there's plenty of fish being caught, but I'm on about the prolific weights. There's plenty of time left for them to really switch on. Just trying to get a feel for it. Would I get more fish on the deck? I'm not sure. indications they're not really taking it the ones that the better fish the elastic straight out these these tiny little ones there's a lot of you see what I mean yeah the nursery and you've got to net these what a pain it is we just want to swing those in don't we has got to be the smallest the smallest F1 in the world I've caught roach bigger than that <laughs> and the only trouble is with them little ones little spines on the fins just get caught so that's where we are at the minute that's where we are at the minute we'll get back out and see if we can get a few more I might try a, a slightly lighter hook length and small smaller hook see if it makes a difference I'm not sure that it's going to to be fair because I know that's what Steve will have on I could be wrong he could be on 011 already there's fish there we've seen a swirl right I've just started to get one or two slightly better fish now and they just seem to be one or two will come in, I've made that up, up length change. I don't think it's made that much difference to be honest with you. But it's just a confidence thing, isn't it, in your head. Slightly smaller hook, slightly lighter line, but I'm not convinced because it's it didn't change it instantly. 
I think they've just started coming to this feed. I've st what I've started doing, I've started feeding quite a little bit heavier and then little and often, just before I go out, and a little and often. Every time I slap it, and I've started to get one or two better fish. Oh, that's why that took a bit of getting in it. Well, it's thin, that. Um, another two pounder or so, maybe a little bit more, maybe three. I'm up to 36 pound. It's not great, a couple of hours in. They're catching to me right, Maggot Man's on his second net, but it doesn't mean he's got 50 pounds, it might mean he's been cautious and changing to uh, just making sure that he he doesn't go over because if you go to 60 pounds your net goes back which is what's happened to me here a few times so I've had plenty of fish there's just not been probably had about 40 40 fish I've lost I lost a real nice one oh god damn it I lost a real nice one I had it on for absolutely ages and then for no reason up pulled out I never even saw it fish Everything all right? Let me double check that. That's not right. That shot has moved. I want that down there. So this is the the deeper, slow sinking rig. I might be changing to the really shallow rig shortly because they seem to be having it a little bit better. I've noticed a few more swirls than normal. Oh, hand on me, me feed. Hand on me feed. So. Get plenty. Oh, and we're in. We're in already. So that's what. That's only just. This is only just started happening. So let's uh, let's hope it continues. I mean that I didn't even see that. I just it just took the elastic out, which is what we're after. Little mirror car. Checking, making sure I thought, me, thought I had the phone at uh, the camera beep. Then little mirror cat, nice little mirrors. Them right while I'm putting another caster on, I'll get, feed a bit more and we'll get out there. Like I say, I didn't really fancy it from here, so we'll. Put a pound on for that, even though it wasn't. A little tea, little knock there. Not a proper bite. Oh, that was a liner. So with it taking it that early, I'm thinking I might actually go to a more positive shallow rig, shallower rig now. Scott has just hooked into one. But Mr. Incredible, every time I look up, he's, he's getting some lovely fish there, a lot bigger fish than what I'm catching. So if he's got as many, he, he'll have twice the weight, he'll have 70, 80 pounds maybe. Not a lot you can do when you're catching three and four ounce fish. Don't get me wrong, I've had some bigger ones. Oh, yeah, that took that had a little look at it so I definitely think they're a bit shallower now we're feeding a little bit more often yeah the swirls there so oh, crikey nearly had a heart attack then yeah I'm gonna make a change right there we go so I've changed to that more positive rig uh, should I say shallower rig and a little bit more positive 
and uh, I've had well, I'm up to about 40 45 pounds now um, and that's literally in the space of 10 minutes since I last spoke to you I've had about eight nine fish let me get his head up oh yeah bugger just wasn't quite ready, ready now and they're better fish like I say they have been slightly better since I've been feeding quite heavy oh that's not uh, it's literally been going I've changed onto my second net as well and I'm terrible at keeping count so I've switched over at 43 pounds to the next net because I might have missed some I might have overdone it, might have underdone it, I just don't know. So, a bit more positive feeding. We'll put three on for that, 46, 47 pounds. It could be a bit more, it could be a bit less, not sure. There we go. No, oh, not the ones I was after. Yeah, it's one of them you think I'm only catching these tiddly ones, don't you? And I've literally I've had a, a run of about eight fish literally in and out in and out in and out and that's what i could do with happening all day but never mind right there we go thought i'd let you see what's going off there right well I'll give it a, another go because i have been, i'm up to 56 or 57 pounds now um again i've been on this this positive rig and I'm thinking I need to come shallower. So even though we're getting one, I mean, there's fish there, look, you can see it swirls, and, and there we go. And I have been getting them that quick for the last sort of 15 minutes or so. One or two better ones, quite a few smaller ones, but it looks like Maggot Man, and uh, from people that I can see are going to take some catching. Oh, you bloody thing. It's the only trouble with F1s. I am not worried about that, but I'm worried about that <laughs> bird's nest. Three and a half hours in, I've got about 70, just over 70 pound on my clicker. Uh, Ian, the maggot man, he's been catching some right lumps and under that bridge. I remember when I was there last time, he do tend to get quite a lot of the five, six, seven pounders. But as you've just seen there, this is what's happening here now. They've turned up, <coughs> it's trashed one of my rigs afloat came off. Not too concerned about that because I can just shorten it and have it as a, if I want, as an overshotting rig. And I've had to push my keep net there because I keep going into these bloody keep nets. Obviously with soft elastics and stuff, it's hard to control them as much and short top kit. I've shoved the other two to the right, so. But it's Ian's, uh, he seems to be having a fish of the maggot man. Come here. Oh, it's all up to itself. As uh, as catching very regular. I mean, it is a great peg that if you fish it right. Peg 16. He's catching regular, but some of the fish I've seen him catch, I need 10 of what I'm catching. And I'm catching literally one of them. I've had a little run where I think they were foul hookers because they were just going crazy. I've actually pulled two or three foul hookers in. There's quite a lot of fish there. So I've gone onto the shallow rig, and oh, it's 10 inch deep plus float there. I might even have to go sh shallower than that if, if I keep foul looking them. Uh, <coughs> they just seem to have turned up round here, so I don't know whether you can see. There's swirls, so there's definitely plenty of fish there. Uh, it's just a case of seeing how fast we can catch them. Let's just hope that everything's, there we go, another one. Like that, have a little run and I'll refeed. There's plenty of fish there now, but have I got enough time to catch other people up in mean, I don't know how they've done on Annex when I. When I. Uh, oh, look at you, look at you. When I um, pegged out this morning, it was full, full of fish. Bob's in his usual. I can't believe Jeff's drawn that same peg over there for the third time in a row, and Bob. There was one matches on peg 28 has drawn the same one and it's like 
Hey, and he just knows how to fish. It's, and it's a, it's a great peg, is that? So Bob will be absolutely bagging. Bob a bag. Oh no, it's bagger Bob. Right. Still getting loads of these. And the maggot man's getting oh, proper lumps. I'm just, oh, I've just noticed the... Uh, Graham at the side of me is getting some better fish as well. I've fed the margin and we've got an hour and 45 and I'm wondering if I might get some better quality fish on deck in the margin because there's a lot of small stuff here. I've had loads and loads of fish. I put another pound, I'm up to 85 pound, but I'm just fed up of getting loads of little ones. It's just not helping me because the bigger fish are just hanging, you know. See, it's only three and a half foot deep. That's a better, I felt like a better take. So as you can see, I'm, I'm busy, I'm catching plenty. Uh, it's a better fish, this one. Unless it's foul up, because I have foul up quite a few. Yeah, it is a better fish, this one. business when it came out so let me undo this and we'll get back in. I just thought I'd have a quick look in the margin. This is first put in. And it's gone straight on it feels definitely a better fish. Man and Steve's been catching. Just a three, three pounders. <laughs> so there we go. The, you can't, you can't have anything to yourself. They've just said he's getting better fish now. It's first done had. And again, second put in in the margin. It's not the biggest, but it's bigger than those little ones I've been catching. Fast. So there we go. I didn't. I didn't have any more in mind. I started getting little finicky bites. I've refed it, but there's a few turned up just in front of me now. I mean, there's always been a few there, but they, they look like better fish. Foul looked one earlier, that went all over the bloody place, trashed my rig, so I had a bit of a mare that last sort of 15 minutes. But I don't think I found it hard work here today. There's been plenty of fish, but not the right size. So it's uh, I've noticed that, you know, what everybody else has been catching, there seem to have been a lot better stamp fish than what I've been. I've got a lot of little ones. Kept the pace, man's the same. Um, so we've got an hour and 15 minutes to go. I think I've got 95 pounds. I was hoping to try and get 200 today. I'm not going to do that. If the fish had been a pound and a half a piece, maybe I think I, I probably could. But uh, it's not been the case today. 
alternating rigs all the time. And uh, the maggot man, he's just absolutely smashing it there. It's, it's, it, every time I look up, he's just got one on. It's been incredible. There's definitely a few fish there, as you can see. You see, that could be foul oaked. In fact, I'm pretty sure it is. That's one of the reasons. Yeah, one of the reasons I, I try and slap on the edge of where I fed. But as you can see, there's quite a few there. It's definitely foul looks this. And that's another rig trashed. And that's what's been happening today. I've, I've had a bit of a mare. Uh, there's some better fish turned up in front of me now at last. There's an hour to go, so is it a little bit too late? I don't know. Stay bloody still. Oh, Benny, they just don't want to stay still, do they? That's not hooked properly. But yeah, sort of pound and a half as. Yeah, do you see how many that were there? How violent was that? I didn't have to strike, it just bounced the so, pole. So they're better fish. The reason I did that is because when I feed and I go among I foul look a lot. So I'm trying to get rid of the foul lookers. That's the theory. Did it pop up? Yes. Right, so it's half an hour to go. I've put that £20 on in that half an hour, so I've got... Oh, you back. And there's quite a lot of fish there at the minute. I wish it had been like this from off, I'd have had a right day. And you can see, look, every time I open one chuck something, you'll see them swirling. And they've been, a, I've had the odd little one, but I've had a quite a few. This is one of the small ones, again, obviously with the camera being on. But I've had quite a few, pound and a half, two pounders. I've been getting quite a few as well. So, uh, it's a shame they weren't here in this in this kind of numbers uh, earlier. I would have had a, a a lot more weight. I wouldn't say numbers. There was plenty of always been plenty of fish, but not not the size I've been catching. I've been catching some really nice fish, and I know there's some fish in my margin. But while I've been catching these sort of pound and a half, two pounders. Oh yeah, bloody thing. The odd three pounder, as you can see just in front of me here. And they're really competing now, so... I'll do it without a bit of bait to start with. Just have a quick look. Little indication. feed it and hopefully that'll have it in mouth. That's, that has been working a little bit better as you can see they're really competing now. This definitely feels better. So I've got 120 pound on my clicker. I don't know whether it's too I've put too much on or not enough. Okay he's going a little bit going crazy we're around in circles. Oh, I jumped out. Hi folks, that's the end of that. I had a right run at the end. If I could have had that, that last hour, what I've had in last hour, all day, I'd have smashed 200 pounds today. But I've had a lot of small stuff. It took a while to get them going at that last hour. I think I've gone from 70 odd pounds to my, I don't know, 130 maybe. 100, I don't know. I, I'm absolutely useless. It. I've got 129 on here. It could be 100. It could be 110 pound, but. 
I've had a lot of fish in that last hour um, and that's why I'm hoping to catch all day. They've just turned up and it's just been little tiny ones most of the day. Mr Incredibles had those all day and so has Ian and uh, I think there's going to be some great weights today so I've right enjoyed it though. Cast a shallow. A bit frustrating when uh, I mean, look how shallow I've been fishing at about 10, 12 inch. That seemed to be the best depth in end. Um, a slow sinking rig to start with this morning because there seemed to be a little bit, even though I could see them mulling about, they seemed to want it to hang a little bit longer. And then they got more aggressive as the day went on. And I just wish they'd have been aggressive a couple of hours earlier because I'd have had four or five nets in, I reckon. But that's how it goes, isn't it? I mean, look, look at them. They took some. I've got a few casters left, I won't be using these. I mean, just look at them now. They weren't doing that this morning. They're absolutely. It's just black. I've literally been going in and shot my rig. They're just absolutely smashing them casters to pieces. There we go. Thoroughly enjoyed that. That's been a, a great experience. I certainly think you need to be well prepared when you're shallow fishing you're catching this many. I think you need. These laugh at me having all these rigs set up here. I think you need to double up on each one because you can't have uh, go through some rigs and hooks and because you foul up a lot and it can be a bit frustrating. I've wasted a lot of time sort of putting new hooks on and things like that. So, right, I'm waning like I mentioned earlier, so we shall see you at the weigh-in. Caster Shallow, that was my main aim for practicing today. Never really had a full session on Caster Shallow, about a couple of hours a day, but no biggin. Catching iron, and I think I had a big carp on it as well. So, three shallow rigs, I had a debt rig, a mugging rig, which I never got out. I haven't seen anything worth mugging. And a margin rig, I've got the method set up in case I wanted to have a little bash. And it was all about shallow mainly today. As you saw, that first, it was a slow start for me, it was a bit frustrating. There were fish there, but all I could seem to catch was those small ones. And I had lots of them. 
every time I thought, I'd, oh, there's one or two turned up, and then I put camera on, let you have a look, and there were all those tiddly little things, and I had loads of them. And I reckon I got pestered with them for a good two and a half, three hours, something like that. So I'd not got a great deal of weight in the net at all. Um, but I was catching, and I think with about an hour to go, at about 90 pounds i think something like that and i think i've got some footage the, the fish seemed to turn up and i started putting fish after about 40 with 40 minutes to go or 45 minutes ago, i've started putting fish in my third net and that third net weighed where are we 49 pound in 40 minutes so 50 pound in, in, in 40 minutes so if I'd have had a few hours at that and there were better quality fish I knew there were I've started to feed a bit heavier and before after every fish that I have while I had a fish on I was chucking casters out before I went out I chucked some casters out and then I actually slapped to the side of where all the casters were and I started to hook plenty in the mouth because I was starting to foul up a few if I went amongst the casters. So something I've learnt there with, with caster. The, the, the don't half come up shallow as well. Um, the best depth for me was about 10 to 12 inches it was. Um, got a few rigs trashed as well. I think I will have a few more shallow rigs ready for next time so you're not wasting any time because I tell you what it's once the turn up it's aggressive that last hour I just couldn't believe it it was, it was literally slap slap fish on slap slap fish on it was just it was unbelievable it was a cracking hour I've got to say we've all had a, a an absolutely fantastic day it's everybody's caught plenty of fish I wouldn't say record breaking weights there's been quite a few people got pestered with the smaller ones but there's been a few catching bigger ones and i noticed the maggot man on a very favored peg 16 you'd take that 52 weeks a year peg 16. there's some big fish there i've, I've won a match there and the difference in size of fish i caught from there to what i was catching today were, were ridiculous i'm not saying small fish don't live there as well but there's just seems to be some big ones and when he weighed in i've not got any fish as big as what he got um steve foster Mr. Incredible opposite me. He started catching the quality fish hell of a lot earlier than me. Hell of a lot. Earlier. I'd say good. He must have had a three hour start on me with those with those quality fish. I'm not saying I didn't have any. I had one or two. But every time I looked up when he landed a fish, the size of his fish for mine were four ounces. He says they weren't that big. They were a pound and a half, two pound. I'd take them any day a week. Um, and I think I kept mentioning it all the way through, but I have got to say, we've had a cracking day. There's been loads of fish caught, plenty of banter. Nobody likes to see that type of thing, you know, so it's been, it's been great. Right, Castor Shallow, thoroughly enjoyed it. One of the reasons I don't fish it very often is it's quite expensive, I think. I mean, I've used four and a half, five pints of casters I've used. I've seen people use 10, 12, 15 pints of casters I, I can't afford that unfortunately I'm, I'm not I, I'm just not going to put that much money into a to fish in a match it's just I just don't think it's worth it so but I, I did want to fish caster shallow I do struggle to get them on quickly on the band and I'm not on my own sometimes I'll go straight on other times you bust one or two and other times it's just a bit of a pain but I've thoroughly enjoyed it it's uh, it's been a good experience today for me that and I've done all right I've, I've done all right it's uh, all that all the shallow fishing like I say it's relatively new really compared with the guys that are knocking big weights out consistently you know so but it's all it's all there and I, I really enjoyed it exciting stuff it is exciting stuff Right, let's get on to the results. So that's, that's enough about my fishing. Shallow fishing caster, I rate it, it's good. Just expensive. Right, we'll do the section um, winners first. Your first section winner coming in with £143.56. 
Yours truly, that's me. Your second section winner with £125, Simon Hudson. So, uh, oh, so what a mighty fisherman I am. Simon Hudson, £125. Well done, Simon Hudson. What a mighty fisherman you are. And your third section winner is Franny, who was doing the weighing in today with £137.58. So, what a mighty fisherman you are, Franny. Well done, son. Right, in third place, just pipping me out of third place, the lovely horrible bloke himself wanted me to pull him up a little bit on youtube as he always does 157.04 soz well done soz what a mighty fisherman you are damn it <laughs> good old soz no he's done well there 157.04 the pace man we're getting pestered with tiddlers um, Soz was to start with as well, but he's, he, I think he's had the biggest fish of the day, I Soz. I think it was about eight pound, it look of it, eight or nine pound. So well done, mate. In second place on peg 16, I was on peg 12, on peg 16, a very favoured peg, you take it any time of year. The Maggot Man, catching on Maggot, <laughs> with 168 pounds, so I wasn't a mile away. So well done, the maggot man. What a mighty fisherman you are. Well done, son. And in first place, it wasn't that long ago when he was telling me he's having an absolutely awful run at fishing. He's, it says it seems to be lasting far too long, but he's done all right for the last month, I reckon. I'd have to look back, but I've mentioned him a couple of times. With an incredible... 184 pounds 96 fishing 013 bottom 18 hook and four mil pellet and feeding quite heavily he says mr incredible what a mighty fisherman you are steve well done son 184 96 like i say i noticed he started catching them fish quite a lot earlier than me and so was the maggot man so well done as you can see i mean there's been like an 116 uh, an 88 105 157 a 94 an 87 an 130 we, we must have caught 1600 pound of fish today between us so that's not bad that there were 17 of us there and it's been a great day so thank you woodhouse grange i have noticed there's definitely some new fishing there because there's fishing there i've not seen before or not caught before quite a lot of stocky so when they grow up that's going to be interesting in there so i hope you've enjoyed today's video me fishing caster shaller uh, matt pilly is a genius at that every time i see him fish caster shaller he seems to empty it place so i think i might have to have a word and get a few tips off matt pilly caster i call it because he always last time i spoke to him with 30 pints of caster that's me done thanks for watching folks until this weekend don't forget it's absolutely free to subscribe to my channel so get the subscribe button pressed if you haven't already subscribed and if you click the notification bell you will get all our videos as we upload them and a thumbs up would be very very nice so thanks for watching today folks take care and we'll see you on the bank this weekend and don't forget fish on